program you are watching is a paid advertisement. USA Network is not responsible for the claims and representations made by the sponsor. The beauty secrets of some of Hollywood's biggest stars are revealed to your host, Morgan Brittany, who learns the art of staying young and looking beautiful from some of the most glamorous celebrities in show business. Because you don't have to be a movie star to look like one. Join us for Morgan Brittany on Beauty with today's special guest star, George Hamilton. Ladies and gentlemen, Morgan Brittany. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Welcome to the show. I'm so excited about today's show. Now, my guest is one of Hollywood's biggest stars. His face has been in every major magazine, and he's often seen with some of the sexiest women in the world. And today, he's here to tell secrets. That's right. For the first time ever, he's going to reveal his very own personal method for looking so good. Ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome the glamorous, the gorgeous, George Hamilton. <laughs> This is a real treat to have you here today and publicly reveal your beauty secrets, your secrets for looking so great. Well, it's nice of you to have me. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people ask me advice, and I try to try to give them advice, and I've had a few years of experience. I think probably nowadays people are really interested in, in youthful-looking skin. You do stay out in the sun a lot, uh, but you look great, so you appear to be doing something right. Well, I've always tried to, to, to be, you know, reasonable about it, have balance about it. Uh, I think it's safe. Safe sun, I guess, more mm -hmm. than anything else. <laughs> you know what I should look like. There, there's been some great things written about you. Like I said, you've been on the cover of everything. Well, there was an article in Vogue not too long ago that uh, was a terrific article about your lifestyle and everything. But there was one thing on edge or something. Would you tell us? I tell was us a bit about depressed, that? and I thought I'd commit suicide. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you were looking for sun, right? That's right. It's true. I am a maniac for sunshine, and, and it was one of those days in, in June where you expected sunshine. Uh, and it just wasn't there. Mm -hmm. And I was sitting in my room, and all of a sudden I looked out on this balcony, and I saw on the ledge, if I climbed around, and the clouds just parted just right, that I could probably get maybe a half hour of sunshine. Uh -huh. So I quickly jumped into my little bathing suit, <laughs> grabbed my reflector, <laughs> and ran out on the ledge. Oh, no. And, and what happened was that I was sitting there on the ledge perfectly, sitting next to an albino pigeon. <laughs> when, all, <laughs> when all of a sudden I looked down, and there was this little lady down there looking at me, and she had hair kind of straggling, a little hat, and she said, what are you doing then? She said, you're trying to kill yourself. <laughs> I said, ma'am, would you mind being quiet? She said, look at him, he's trying to kill himself. With this, I said, shh. And about 18 people all formed around this little lady, oh, and, no. and I was driven back into my room. <laughs> I waited for another 15 minutes for the crowd to disperse. I went back out, and I sat for almost an hour and got perfect sunshine. And the pigeon, of course, has been skin cancer. <laughs> <laughs> well, being a sun worshiper, all right. You're out in the sun. You have a great-looking tan. How do you look so good? How do you look so young? The rest of us would look like leather. Well, I spent a lot of time in Florida, and actually, I, when I went to school, I'd go four days to school, and three days I'd sit on the beach. Mm -hmm. So finally, after a, a few years, I started realizing that what I was doing needed some sort of protection. Mm -hmm. And I was finding things that other people really didn't know about. Aloe vera was not something really dealt much with in those days. And I, of course, uh, found it. Uh, and, and it grew in the backyard. And we just broke it open and put it on our face. You mean even as a even as a child, you were interested in skin care? Oh, I sure was. My my uh, my father was uh, the head of cosmetics. Uh, was really the head of Elizabeth Arden, ran Elizabeth ah. Arden, and both my uh, my grandfathers were medical doctors. And so I saw enough of it over the years to understand um, really what some of the needs were, and and I could understand what the consumer's problem was really. So I started learning that really as a as a kid. Hmm. So you got so you learned a lot just through your 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 father's work. And well, everything. it's a, it's a lot of research, but it's a lot of common sense too. I think you have to decide in the end what's best for you, yeah. and there's got to be a balance about things in life. You know, too many there's too much hype out there today. George, uh, when we found out that you were coming on the show, we asked some people about their skincare concerns, and we've got a tape of those people, and uh, we'd like to look at it now. Okay. Great. Wrinkles. It's my worst fear, <laughs> and I find them every day. 
<laughs> Isn't that everyone's fear of the, the fear of, of wrinkles and aging? And I thought, oh my gosh, I'm getting old. You're, you're so frustrated. I ended up at a dermatologist. And I said, you know, what do I do? I go through all this stuff and nothing ever works. I'm worried in the future about, I guess, wrinkles because um, with having dry skin, then my face would probably wrinkle quite a bit. I've had a lot of comments lately that I'm getting uh, crow's feet on my eyes. And I want to get rid of those. All right, we can see by that that people are really concerned about their skin. But with all the information that's saturating the market, uh, how are we, the average public, supposed to know what's right for us, what we should buy? It's a very difficult thing to know nowadays what the truth is. And I think there are too many experts out there that are confusing things. Well, the confusing thing to me is sometimes I'll go into a store and I'll end up buying a lot of different products, not knowing really what's best for me, and I'll end up spending a ton of money. I'm sure a lot of other people do that, too. No one simplified it and put the most modern, the most um, helpful ingredients, and the ones that make you the most youthful in, in the few products. That's the, that's the problem. I think they've, they've just confused the issue. Well, all right. Well, I have very dry skin. A lot of people have dry skin, oily skin, whatever. Mine is very dry, and I have always used a moisturizer, and I've always felt, uh, I feel that I should, should have an oil.